Hope you guys because in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys eight different ways on how you can wear suits. So if you're new here my name is Jessie and I make videos on fashion, a lifestyle and luxury so if those are the types of videos that you enjoy be sure to hit that subscribe button. As I said I'm going to walk you guys through eight different outfits today and talk about how to wear suits by bringing in elements that are trending, that are classic and hopefully we'll give you guys some new ideas on how you can style your own suit. Now hopping to the first outfit that I want to share with you guys today and I'll call this one the classic suit look and this is basically a look I think that you can pull off with any suit that you already have and that is by combining your suit with a white top or a white button-up blouse or just a blouse like this one and I think this is the simple but yet so classic and so chic type of look that works time and time again. And I think sometimes we forget about these simple looks because we think they are very boring, but sometimes really when you look at these simple outfits, those are the outfits that really stand out and really go through the length of time. They're very, very classic. But instead of combining this one with maybe a classic blue pump, you can combine this one by making it a little bit more trendy here by combining it with beige or more neutral colored pumps like I did. So I think it's really about sticking to the timeless trends, but yet bringing something in that is a more trending, like pairing it with beige um, shoes like this. Now onto outfit number two, which I call the one colored suit a look. And this is basically when you choose one color that you like to stick with that day and then dress yourself from top to bottom within that color. And this can be from the boldest color to the more neutral tone colors. And for this example, I chose the color black. So I just threw a black blazer and then underneath I have a simple black top and I paired it with a flare pen to balance out my proportion, but also to bring in more interesting details into my outfit. And last, I finished it with a black pump. And if you take a look at this outfit, it's really basic, it's really simple, yet it brings in that elegant, that corporate feeling. And by tweaking it a little bit with your accessories, it can really go from a corporate look into a night out outfit. Outfit number three, you guys, is the oversized suit look. And this is a look that has been trending for a while right now, so I really wanted to incorporate it in this video. And I think it's a really fun way to wear suits, but bring in, as I said, different elements that make your look more interesting. So for this look, I definitely went for an oversized blazer and I thought about the structure and this is a more sturdy blazer. I love that about this. Underneath, I have just a little bit of a looser pen and then to just bring the whole look together, I paired it with some loafers that really brings in the heaviness again and that balance out the heaviness of the oversized blazer that really brings the, this look together. And I think when you want to go for the oversized look, you guys, it's about knowing your proportions and then knowing how to balance them out when you're wearing something that is a little bit untailored. If you have different suits, then you're going to love outfit number four, which is all about mix matching suits together. So I would call it the mixed match look. And it might not be completely about the look, but it's about the idea behind the look. So if you can see in this look, I'm wearing the same pants as in outfit number one, but this time around, I threw a different blazer from a different suit on top of it. And what I'm doing with that is just creating a whole different look, but just by combining another element from a different suit. So I'm not shopping, but I'm actually shopping in my own closet by creating new combinations. And that is what I wanted to emphasize with this example. And to combine it, I literally threw on some loafers, but I could also wear some ballerinas, some flats or something like that to bring this whole look together. And I think this is what it's all about. Sometimes just going into your closet and finding new combinations of what you already have. And if you have a lot of suits or if you have different type of suits, you can definitely mix match them and create new looks like this one. Now on to outfit number five, which is the suit skirt or skirt suit, however you want to call it. And I definitely love this look, but I think that so many hesitate to pull on this look because it does give a little bit of a granny vibe. So as you can see 
For this look, I went for a pencil skirt that is just underneath my knees. That gives a little bit more of a corporate feeling. I think it's really beautiful. It's even a little bit sexy, I like that. And it also has that cut to it, which brings in a little bit more of the youthful energy. And then I paired it with a simple black blazer that is a little bit more tight fitted, tailored, and brings in a little bit of the snugness. And the reason why I'm doing it is because you don't want to get that granny vibe. You want to bring in the youthful energy. And these are all very youthful elements that I'm bringing into this outfit. And then to elongate my legs, I paired it again with nude pumps. And that is kind of like how I'm balancing the proportions out because I'm already wearing a skirt that's a little bit longer. And then I'm elongating my legs with the pumps that again brings in that proportion. So you can still pull this look off just with a little bit of tweaks to make it on trend and make it really stylish and classic again. Outfit number six is the monochromatic look. And I'm a huge fan of this look because it's very minimalistic, chic, and timeless at the same time. So the essence of this look is to create a whole new outfit by using color pieces that are in the same color range. So for this one, I definitely went for a more mustardy yellow color because I think it's kind of like the fall color. I love this one. And then to stay in that same color range, I chose a top that is a little bit in that same color. And then to finish off, I finished with something that is very basic, neutral color loafers. This is a really beautiful way, guys, to create more depth and to bring more elements into your outfit without splurging a lot on a lot of stuff. So really minimalistic, really sleek, really timeless look. That is what you're going for when you're going for the monochromatic look. Outfit number seven. So that means that we're almost at the end. And this look that I wanted to share with you guys is called the casual chic suit look. So it's a mouthful, but literally what I mean with this is dressing your suits down to get a whole different vibe or a whole different look out of your suit. So in this example, I'm wearing my black blazer. I have a button up striped shirt underneath it. And then I have a black pen, like the suit pen that belongs with this combination. Now to make this outfit go from a more corporate elegant type of vibe and move it into maybe a more sporty type of vibe, I'm just pairing it with white sneakers. So I'm moving from a whole different kind of like vibe and creating a whole sporty and relaxed vibe by just changing my footwear. And I think this is one main thing that we need to consider when we are wearing certain outfits that tweaking them can create a whole different vibe. Outfit number eight is the last outfit that I wanted to share with you guys today. And I call it the bold suit look. So as you can see in this outfit, I'm definitely wearing a more bolder or pulling off a more bolder look with the suit. Now for this outfit, I would recommend to go with a blazer that is just a little bit more sturdy to get that bold structure, very structured look, or maybe even to go with a blazer that has a pads in them. So for this one, I used a blazer that is oversized and it is a little bit more structured. And I paired it with just a simple trousers. And with this one, again, I went with a more flared one just to balance out the proportions on top. I do want to look bold, but I do want to still look proportionate. So that's why I paired this one also with a flare pen, but it really depends on your own proportions to pull this look off. And then simply I combined it with um, heels. And I think heels are the way to go for this look because it's a very edgy, it's a very bold look. And then you want to stay in that structure look. Combining it with anything else would just move you into a little bit more of the relaxed area. So this is the final look that I wanted to share with you guys. And I think that is what it's all about. It's about pulling out pieces out of your closet and creating new looks defining them in different area and having a lot of fun with them. So I hope this video has inspired you guys in new ways to wear your suits. Let me know in the comment box down below which is your fave or which one you're going to try. For now, thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!